Hey everyone, welcome back to Practical AutoCAD and Inventor. Today we're continuing our discussion on creating custom line types, specifically line types including shapes. Whether you need to show valves or custom tree symbols or any other custom graphical element along a line, mastering shape-based line types can make your drawings a lot more detailed and visually effective. I'll walk you through the entire process step by step. It's easy to do even if you've never customized a line type before. So if you're ready to take your drafting skills to the next level, open up AutoCAD and let's get started. Creating a custom line type with shapes may be further simplified by using the make shape and the make line type commands. The first step, however, is to draw your line type as you would want it to show in the actual finished line type. So what I have here on the screen is just geometry. It's a regular line with the continuous line type here. Okay, and then this stop sign is my geometry that I'm going to convert into a shape. It happens to be a polyline and then the text here isn't actually text, it's polylines that have been made to look like the word stop obviously, but it's not text and that's important. So after you create your line the way you want it to look, the first step that you want to do is you want to convert the, the geometry that's going to be the shape itself into a shape instead of leaving it as regular geometry. I wouldn't be able to include this regular geometry in the line type. To do so, you go to the Express Tools tab on the ribbon, and then you go to the Tools panel, and you'll choose the Make Shape tool here in AutoCAD. Now when you do so, it's going to first prompt you to give the shape a name, so I'm going to call it uh, stop sign dot SHP. It's going to apply the SHP by itself and then I'll choose save. When I do that, it asks me on the command line down here again to enter the name of the shape. So I'm just going to enter that name in again, stop sign. And then it asks me for the resolution. The default value for the resolution is 128, which is actually pretty low. Um, if I were to make a stop sign using 128 as the resolution, it would look like a stop sign, but it would look like a pretty rough stop sign. And I want it to look a little bit nicer than that. Now, I don't need to kick this all up to something like 4K resolution. That would be unnecessarily large, especially for the fact that these symbols are going to be quite small. But I want it to be something bigger. So arbitrarily, I'm going to pick 500 for my resolution. If I were to go too much higher, I wouldn't see much improvement in the shape, but I would see a, a significant increase in the size of that little shape file. So I'll just hit enter here. Then it asks me to specify the insertion base point. I'm going to specify the, uh, the midpoint between that point and that point, which is the center point of the stop sign itself. And then the objects that I want to include in the shape are the stop sign, which would be the uh, the octagon and then the polylines that say the word stop like that press enter and it creates that <clears throat> shape called stop sign and it loads it into the drawing now it didn't replace the existing geometry the geometry that I created is still here so what I want to do next is I want to take and delete that geometry and then replace it with the shape that I just created. And I'll do that with the shape command. It asks me to enter the shape name and because I just created that shape here in AutoCAD, it is actually already loaded. So I can just type in stop sign and it brings it in. You'll notice that it's attached to my crosshairs. I can specify the insertion point and again I'll say midpoint between that endpoint right there and that endpoint right there. Then I can specify my scale factor or my height which is a 1 and then my rotation angle which will be 0 and it puts it back in. Now from afar there's not much difference between you know the original geometry that I had in this but if I zoom up on it you can see that my O isn't quite as smooth, my P isn't quite as smooth but you know you get back a little ways and it looks just fine. So now this is a shape file, it's not geometry. I don't need to replace the rest of these because these were just here for demonstration purposes. 
Now that I have my line the where I want it to go and my shape where I want it to go, the next step is to use that make line type command just as we did when we were doing text. So if I come in here to the, again on the express tools tab, I go to the tools panel, I'm going to drop this down and choose make line type. It's going to ask me for the name of the line type and where I want it to save. So I'm going to save it <clears throat> on my desktop here. Uh, I've got this folder called custom line types and I'm going to call this stop sign and I choose save and then again it asks me on the command line to enter the line type name I'm gonna enter that in again stop sign and then as far as a line type description goes I'm just going to put a uh, a verbal description if you will a text description and I'll say a line with stop signs every two inches uh, well I just say a line with stop sign I don't need the, the distance because it might change if I change my line type scale so then it asks me for my starting point so again you always start with a down pin segment which would be this end point right here. My end point would be the next down pin segment where that one would start or what would begin. Okay. And then the objects are my shape file and the line itself. When I press enter, it creates and loads that line type and it's ready to go. Now, of course, of this obviously isn't the line type. So I'm going to just delete that geometry for now. And then I'm going to go to the line type command and I'm going to show you that there is the line type that I just created. Okay, it's got the example, it gives the description there. I'm going to set it current and choose OK. Now that I've done that, I can come in here and I can draw lines just like I did before. So if I wanted, for example, I could say I want a polyline. As I draw it this way, it says stop, 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 stop. As I draw it this way, it aligns it this way. It aligns it that way. It aligns it that way. Okay and enter and you can notice that it draws it so that it is they're upside down here because they are and and they're upside down here because the default value is that it is um, has that radial or that tangential orientation okay but there's my line type now if we look at the line type itself <clears throat> um, hang on a second Here's my line type definition. <clears throat> so again, stop sign is the name of the, the of the of the line type. It's a line with stop signs. Alignment code A. It's one and a half inches down pin segment, quarter of an inch up, and then it's got this. This stop sign is the name of the shape file, and this is where that is located. It's located that's my path so it's on the C drive down inside the C drive on the desktop custom line types stop sign this is very important that you know where that is and I suggest that that shape file and your line type file are stored in the same location just to keep that easy the S here is the uh, so the size so it's at a scale of one but if I wanted it to be upright and readable so that it would always be the stop would always be readable I can add a little bit of code here and I'll just say u equals zero comma so what that does is it says that I want that shape to be upright and readable as as well as having that size of one you know a scale of one so I'm going to choose, okay, I'm going to come over here and say, okay, let's save that. <clears throat> and I can close this at this time. And if I were to come back in here now and reload that line type. So I'm going to say load and I will browse to that location again. Uh, stop sign, there it is, open. That's the one that I want to load, okay. I want to reload that line type, okay. Notice that it's still current. If I come in here and I draw it in here now, it's stop sign here, 
Okay, if I go up, it's stop sign here, but if I come back this way, it's stop sign and it's still upright and readable. So it's always upright and readable, no matter what I have. Now the final thing that I might show you on this <clears throat> is that instead, if I wanted the stop signs to always be, regardless of the angle of the line, if I always wanted the stop signs to be to have a horizontal orientation, I could change that U from upright and readable to A for absolute. It's always going to have an absolute angle of zero degrees, regardless of what size or what, what direction the line is going. So again, I'll say, okay, let's file, let's save this, and then I'll close that, and then I'll just simply come back in here and I'll do that same thing again. So I'll go to the line type command, and I'll load that line type again. So I want to load that stop sign line type again. That's the one that I want to load. It's going to ask me if I want to reload it, and I'll say, yes, let's reload that. So now it's reloaded one more time. If I come in here and I create a polyline, again, notice that no matter what angle I draw my lines, those stop signs are always horizontal instead of being at whatever angle the line is. So you have three different options with your orientation. You have R, which makes them relative to the angle of the line. U, which makes them relative to the angle of the line, but upright and readable as far as text would go. And then A, so that they're always at that absolute angle of, in this case, zero degrees. So I hope this helps and will strengthen your line type game. Make sure you check in next week with the next video.